Welcome to our live training session. In this week's session, we're going to be looking at creating a Flappy Bird style game. So this is kind of a variation on the side-scrolling endless runner idea. So we have a list of goals for the session. So we're going to learn to create performance. Uh, infinite or endless style games by moving the world instead of the player. So this is a concept that some of you guys may be familiar with. It's sort of like, this is sort of an old reference, but the old Hanna-Barbera Flintstones style cartoons where you would see the background, the background moving and looping past the character who's sort of standing in one place with their feet moving. So we're going to be doing that. In this case, our bird is not going to move, but the background is going to move behind them and we're gonna recycle and loop two sections of the background, and I'm gonna show you guys that in a moment. We're also going to learn how to optimize your game using object pooling, so we're gonna have columns that we're gonna be flying past in this game, and instead of spawning hundreds of columns to create an endless level for the player to fly through, we're just gonna have five columns that we're gonna recycle once they've uh, passed out of view of the camera. And that's also going to help us in terms of performance. And then the, the third sort of takeaway is that we are going to be creating cartoon style, non-realistic 2D physics using Unity's built-in 2D physics system. So we're, we're not going to be using sort of accurate physics. We're going to sort of control the physics system ourselves. Uh, to get a very precise and reliable uh, style of jumping or flapping for our bird um, using some, uh, some scripting techniques to kind of modify and control the way that the physics work. So we have a link for the assets for this session, which you can download. If you're here live, I have pasted that into the chat. And if you are watching this on YouTube, you can just head to that link uh, and grab the assets. The assets are really simple. It's just a few pieces of artwork and a font. And we are going to be creating this project basically from scratch using those few assets provided. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer session than we usually do, but I think because this is more beginner focused, and I would like to show you guys the, the process, really just starting from, some sp from a set of sprites and building everything up. I think there's gonna be some value to that. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to show you guys the finished version of the game, uh, and then we're gonna make a new empty 2D project in Unity and bring in our artwork. So I'm using Unity 5.5, uh, but nothing that we're doing here is super specific to that, although that is the version of Unity that we recommend for this. Okay, so here you should see on your monitor uh, the completed version of the project, which I'm just going to enter play mode and demonstrate quickly. So you can see, I've got the scene view visible here. You can see over to the left, those columns that have spawned off screen. And as I get closer, we can see new columns being spawned. And as you can see, just happened there, as I get a certain distance over to the right, our background moves from its position on the left over to the right and jumps in front of the player to allow the player to keep going. And then if I crash into something, we switch to our little dead bird sprite and we can tap the button to restart and it will reset the game and we can continue playing. So, we're going to use this to kind of illustrate these best practice concept for endless worlds of recycling these chunks of the level and object pooling our different columns. And so, and this is also going to be done in such a way that if you are a real beginner, it should be relatively easy to follow. Um, and for those of you guys who are a little bit more intermediate, hopefully you'll get something 
out of the kind of best practices that we're demonstrating here. So I'm going to go ahead and open another instance of Unity. This is 5.50 F3. I'm going to create a new 2D project. This is going to be called Flappy Bird Live. Hit Create Project. And we can close the earlier open version. And so now we have a new blank 2D project. And so the next step is going to be to import and lay out some artwork. Before I do that, let me just take a quick look at the chat and make sure that everybody's doing okay. And then we are going to dig in.